Hi there and welcome to the first of what I'm hoping will be a few videos uh, to showing you some tips and tricks for using Lightrider. So I'm just going to start it up now on my iPad uh, and it's going to connect up to my ADJ Airstream DMX bridge. Give that a second, here we go. Right. Uh, today I want to talk about projects and the fact that I often DJ in different venues and in those different venues I often take some uh, either subtly or sometimes very different setups. So uh, at the moment I've got one one project and I've called that Manor Hotel and that's the configuration that I use in my in my made up Manor Hotel venue. So uh, now, uh, and if I take a look at the fixtures there, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of things. I've got GoPro Zoom, some Element Hexes, some Freedom Sticks there, um, and even a, some Chameleon Q-Bar Pros. Uh, now, if I want to go and uh, uh, use this, uh, make a copy of it, um, and give it a different name for the next venue that I'm going to, I simply choose Create Project. I go and tap the name box, give it a, come on, give it a name. So let's say my next venue is going to be the Bay Tree Hotel. Okay, uh, I want to keep the fixtures uh, from the manor um, and keep any presets. In this particular case I'll choose to keep them. Uh, you may find that you're changing your lighting fixtures radically and therefore any of the presets that you've actually created won't really work with the new set that you're using. But for the moment I'm going to keep them. So uh, if I look at uh, the Beitu Hotel fixtures now, you'll see I've got exactly the same list. Now I'm going to go and radically change this. I'm going to go and start removing a whole load of things. I'm going to get rid of all of the freedom sticks in here. I'm going to, uh, so there's eight of those to go. Okay, so what I'm going to be left with uh, is going to be just the, uh, I'm going to also going to get rid of one of the element hexes as well. Um, and I'm going to add uh, a moving head. So I'm going to go down to my, my moving head. So I just happen to have a couple of Mark Gesture Sport 300s. I'm just going to check that they're in 13 channel mode. Add two of those. I'm going to, I'm also going to drag them and move them to the right position in the list. Um, the list order is important and I'll probably cover that in a separate video. Uh, if I, ch if I switch these to group mode, um, you'll also notice that this has got a rather unusual name. Uh, uh, if you want to change the name, you can do that. Um, so uh, you have to do that in individual mode, by the way. So you can tap the name in an individual mode and you can change change the name. So if I want to get rid of the alt colors, I can do that. Change this, the second one as well. And here we go, change that to alt colors. Right, okay, if I just tap this and go back to live mode now, uh, if you want to make sure that everything is looking okay, the quickest and easiest way to do that in here is just to tap the dimmer button. And you'll see now that I've got three distinct groups of fixtures. I've got groups of Element Hex, um, Chameleon Q-Bar Pros, um, and Gesture Spot 300s. I'll cover what the dimmer does again, uh, either later or in another video. Um, so I've now got my, my lighting uh, set up the way I want it for the Baytree Hotel. If I switch back to the Manor Hotel, look at fixtures, you can see there's all the lists I started off with originally. Um, if I go to the Baytree Hotel, uh, here's the much shorter list um, that, I've, uh, that I've got at this particular venue. So I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is talk briefly about limitations because um, although you can set up multiple venues as projects in Light Rider, uh, the one thing that it doesn't do in my experience is remember limitations. Now limitations are for moving heads um, your best friend. These are the things that will ensure that your moving heads only ever point at your dance floor and don't end up pointing at you. Now to set up limitations, as you see, I you would typically select the group button, choose the, the moving heads and they'll both be selected. Uh, tap the button in the top right hand corner and you'll see something like this. Now if your moving heads are anything like mine, they will uh, be capable of spinning something like 570 degrees round, so that's kind of almost twice round. Uh, and certainly for uh, tilt uh, from you know pa basically pointing at the floor right in front of you to uh, spinning right over and pointing to the floor right behind you uh, which is not great if you you want to just keep your heads on the dance floor so uh, to uh, to set to limitations what we do here to stop them from uh, um, going wildly out of control is to drag the corners of the boxes now uh, the, the the top ironically uh, determines how low your 
uh, moving heads will point. Uh, this incidentally is assuming that you've got them on something like podiums or on the shelves of your booth. So this is this determines how low, the top line will determine how low the heads point onto the dance floor in front of you. The bottom line determines the highest point that you want them to, to point. And I typically have them pointing somewhere above my head so they don't go so far over as to shine in my eyes. Now again, left and right uh, is the same. So this the left button determines um, how far left the uh, your moving heads will pan, and again I have them panning round so that they kind of they point uh, just to the to the left of my booth, um, and the right is the same. And once you've got the limitation set, and the, your heads at this point will be moving, by the way, so you can see where they're actually pointing. Um, and by the time you've finished, you're going to end up with something that looks a bit like this. Now that may look like a, a small square in a very big. Uh, space but actually from a DMX point of view that's as far as you want your moving heads to move. Um, Light Rider will then ensure that any movement may is maintained within that box um, and then your moving heads will always stay pointing um, at or around your dance floor and not spinning around and pointing at you. Okay, so uh, you may need to do this every time you start Light Rider. As I said, my experience has shown that it doesn't always remember this. Um, what it does also enable you to do is to go back to, to live mode and then you can do some nice simple things like uh, for a first dance, for example, you may choose uh, to set something like a nice heart scobo, uh, choose a nice, uh, nice uh, light pink colour so I'm going to choose a nice light pink colour, uh, uh, maybe add some prism, set gobo rotation, and then actually point them on the dance floor. So if you tap the movement, you know, the static movement uh, button here, you can then point your moving heads at the dance floor. Now, if you find that the two moving heads are actually too close together, um, and actually the, the gobos are overlapping, then just choose the fan and either move them a little bit further apart or a little bit closer together. Um, and you should find that you can find a nice balance of, uh, of being just in front of you and actually uh, pointing out on the dance floor. You can, you can get them to be quite low down in front so that uh, for any first dance photographs, you get some really lovely gobos projected onto the dance floor. Okay, um, as I said before, if, um, if it's too bright, you can always dim an individual fixture. So if you don't want to, to be uh, your gobos to be the centre of attention um, in first dance photos, then you can simply tap the dimmer button and you can drag uh, your moving heads, in this case the gesture spots, right down. Um, and, uh, uh, and then you can dim them. Um, notice now that the dimmer circle light is now on all the time and that's just a reminder that that one or more of your lighting fixtures has a manually adjusted dimmer value if i were to drag this right back to the top and tap it you'll see it goes off and now they're all being controlled by the master dimmer okay that's it for now i'm going to come back and talk uh, some more about other tips and tricks in my next video but until then thanks very much